In 2009, Marion Robinson, President Obama's mother-in-law, moved into the White House, creating a multi-generational first family. The bar graph shows the number of multi-generational households in the United States for selected years from 1950 through 2008. So notice that we have the year along the horizontal axis, and along the vertical axis, we're looking at the number of multi-generational households in millions. The number of multi-generational American households, H, in millions, can be described by the mathematical model H equals 100th times n squared minus 5 tenths times n plus 31, where n is the number of years after 1950. Does the mathematical model underestimate or overestimate the actual number of multi-generational households shown by the graph in 1970? By how many million? If we start by looking back at the graph, we note that in the year 1970, we end up with 26 as the value at the top of that column, indicating that in 1970, there were 26 million multi-generational households. Now we want to use the formula that was given to us in the problem for the number of households in millions to determine whether or not we have an overestimate or an underestimate using the modeling. So we're going to take the value for 1970, which is going to be 20 years after 1950. That indicates that n is going to be 20 in our formula. Substituting this value in for n in the, equa in the equation we have given to us, we'll have h equals, we'll have 1 hundredth times 20 squared minus 5 tenths times 20 plus 31. Now, for ease of calculation, I'm going to change the decimals into fractional format. 1 hundredth can be written as 1 over 100. Let's go ahead and evaluate 20 squared. That's going to be 20 times 20, which is 400. Minus, we have 5 tenths, which is the same as 1 half. That's multiplied times 20, and then we'll add 31. 1 hundredth times 400 is 4. 1 half times 20 is 10, and then plus 31. So we'll end up with 4 minus 10, which is negative 6, plus 31, and that's going to give us our value of h equal to 25. Now, back to the problem, what we see is that our h value can be interpreted as 25 million households. But recall that the chart gave us 26 million. So what we see is that this is going to be an underestimate and that underestimate is by a value of 1 million.